Hello again. Welcome back to It's All About Racing. In this episode, we are going to take a look at a Tarmac Works 164 scale BMW M6 GT3. This one driven by Augustus Farfus in the FIA GT World Cup in 2010. Uh, as all Tarmac Works cars, they are sealed die cast models. They do not roll. Well, this doesn't roll at all, to be honest with you. Uh, they do come in attractive uh, bases and jewel covers, and this one you can see here. And the colors of it really closely align with that of the car. It's one of the things I like about that. And there is a cool picture of the car on the back of it, actually racing itself. Great representation, I think. And you'll notice on the inside of the box, it does say Godspeed Charlie. I did not know what that referred to until one of my uh, uh, viewers, Mikey, uh, let me know that this refers to a BMW team principal, uh, Charlie Lamb, of who passed away back in 2019. So Godspeed Charlie, this one's for you. And we'll take a closer look at this car. Also bear in mind that these Tarmac Works uh, hobby cars are limited edition cars, or so they claim. Uh, this one's saying that this is number 580 out of 0, 0, 0, 0 which essentially is 9,999 cars. Um, you know, if you consider that a limited edition, well, I don't know. I don't think it is. But anyhow, the cars are cool. Uh, look nice. Go great with the car. I would buy this car limited edition or not. If it is a limited edition, I consider that an additional perk. But this is a really good looking uh, BMW. Oh, I love the color scheme on it. And Augustus Farfus, you just don't get a better BMW Works driver than this guy. He is really, really good. And this being a 164 scale Tarmac Works, of course, it is finely detailed. Let me move this up a little bit closer so we can get a little better look at it. Really nice job on the wheels, Pirelli P0 tires. I just really like that in the wheel detail. Oh, you know, it all starts with the wheels, and this is so, so good. Now, this is a front engine car, and I'll just point kind of like with my finger there. Right behind the front wheel is where the exhaust vent comes out on this, so that is the exhaust you see there. Nice looking running boards on the side. Interior detail is fairly good. Kind of hard to see the way this cabin is arranged. You see Augusta Farfus's number there, number 42. We take a look at the front of the car. Roll this around. And there's a good look at the kidney grill and of course the other Grills jab on the bottom, all drawing air in to, to cool that massive engine that you've got in there that produces about 500 and some odd uh, horsepower. See dive planes on the side. Big, huge air ducts there on the very top of it. And now if you look into the cabin, you can see clearly see the steering wheel, the seat, uh, some of the framework there. Uh, you've got the, the banner uh, for this particular race. And the Shell logo abounds on it, obviously one of their sponsors. Here's a look at the passenger side. And much the same, quite frankly, as the driver's side. Now we'll take a look at the rear of the car, and I'm just going to draw this thing around. Here you can see some of the interior framework, and I imagine the fuel tank and other electronic boxes in there. Multi-bank group resplendent on that massive rear wing on this thing. And here is a look at the back of it. Tail lights nicely done in plastic. You can see that nice big rear diffuser there. Did a really good job with this car. Godspeed Charlie. There it is on the back of it. Yet once again. Really nice looking car. I like the livery. It's not real fancy, but it, I don't know, it just suits. Now we'll take a look at it from the top. Good looking car. Nicely done, I think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thanks for tuning in. Take care.